Hello, hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I want to talk to you about anxiety, the cause of the anxiety. And I'm going to explain you from where the anxiety is coming from, the cause of the anxiety in a very simple but very powerful way. The same way that I teach children, that I explain children from where the anxiety is coming from. And for this, I drew something to better help you understand. I hope that you can see it. Now, but before let's understand what anxiety it is. Anxiety, it is a negative emotion in the absence of a real danger, where the threat is anticipated through imagined scenario. Anxiety never comes from the present. Anxiety always comes, start from the memory, from the past experiences. In the present, now you are safe. You are okay. Nothing happens. But immediately, when you need to do something in the future, right? You start to compare something from the past in the future. If you have a memory, unpleasant memory about what you need to do in the future, of course, you will have a negative, scary, worry thought about what you will need to do in the future. But are just thoughts. Nothing really happened. And we don't know for sure what it will happen, how it's going to be in the future. Are just thoughts. If you had a bad memory and you think something will happen, happen, sorry, you will start to feel anxious. You will start to feel scared. But actually in the present, nothing really happened. It's just you who have this scary worry thoughts. If you have school anxiety and you start to think the night before, oh, school again, I don't want to go to school. What if I will fail that test? I'm not good at math. What if the teacher asks me a question and I don't know the answer? What if I will have the, I will give the wrong answer and everyone will laugh at me? I hate school. All of these thoughts create anxiety, worry. And sometimes because of this kind of thoughts, you will feel physical symptoms in the body in the moment. Feelings like uh, headache or um, throwing up or um, legs trembling, heart beating very fast, um, uh, and many, many other symptoms. All of these thoughts are thoughts about the future. All of these thoughts that you have creates your anxiety. You are not at school. You are not at that presentation. You are not at that interview. None of those things that you worry about didn't, did happen. Yet you feel the emotion in the body in the present. Where is your attention, where is your focus, there is your body living the sensation, living the emotion of the moment. If you tomorrow, let's say, have to go on holidays, a holiday that you planned a month ago, or you have to go to a class, an activity that you love, and you think about that holiday, about that activity um, that you love uh, with thoughts like, oh my God, I can't wait to go tomorrow to that activity or I can't wait to go uh, in that uh, holiday. Your body will react with positivity. Your body will have a positive reaction. You will feel excited. You will feel happy. So in order to take control of the anxiety, you need to get into a new habit. To bring your mind, to bring your attention, your focus in the present moment. 
not in the past, negative emotions, bad experiences, not in the future with scary thoughts, because again, we don't know what it will be in the future. All these memories, negative memories, or all those scary thoughts makes us feel anxious, makes us feel scared, doesn't make us feel safe. And of course, we experience all those negative emotions. Anxiety, as I mentioned, doesn't come from the present. Okay? Anxiety comes from our thoughts, our way of thinking, our mindset, how we have trained our mind. Fear, yes, fear can come from the present. And let me give you an example. Let's say you walk nice and calm, listening to some music um, on the streets, and suddenly someone from a car beeps you. Of course, you will feel scared. You will feel fear. But that fear comes from the pr present. Or let's say you the same, walk very nice, calm, listen to some music on the streets, and something passes in front of you, and it was a bird. That fear comes from the present. Anxiety doesn't come from the uh, present. Anxiety comes from the past memories, experiences, or from the future. Imagination, scenarios, scary scenarios. To take control of your anxiety when you notice that you have a negative emotion, feeling, you need to bring yourself back into the present moment. You need to check. Is your life in real danger now? You need to check. Is this my old habit way of thinking and feeling about something? You need to check the environment. Ask yourself. Are you in a real danger? Is your life in a real threat? Danger. This way you can take the control. You can take the focus on the now, on the present. You need to bring your mind in the present. You need to get into this new habit. When you are in the present, your anxiety cannot come. Can get you. If you don't focus on this, coming back into the present moment, check if you are in real danger, and you let your thoughts to go in the future with scary thoughts, or in the past with to back uh, memories, bad experiences, anxiety will come, anxiety will show up, and you will feel negative emotions, feelings that aren't necessary. Because you are not experiencing a real threat. Your life is not in real danger. If you start to have negative thoughts, worry thoughts about something, do not, don't let your mind to create more and more and more negative, scary, worry thoughts. If you have a worry, take the control. Solve the problem. Solve the worry. If it is something that it is in your control. A lot of people who struggle with anxiety worry about uh, things that are not in their control. So they need to let go. If you worry about a situation, solve the problem. Ask yourself, okay, what is the situation? What do I worry about? What I am afraid that it will happen? What do I think it will happen? What can I do? What do I need to do to prevent this from happening? And if this happens, what can I do about it? How can I handle it? What would I say to a good friend if we'll have the same worry fear? What do I need to feel calmer, more relaxed? What is something good to look forward instead of focusing on the negative? I really, really hope this makes sense to you. Because it did really help me. If you need, go back and watch this video over and over again until you get it. Until you get this powerful uh, information. You can show this video to your child. Social anxiety, separation anxiety, generalized anxiety, they all work the same. They have the same system. It's just the story that changes, the thoughts changes. 
a person with social anxiety will fear embarrassment, will fear um, um, rejection. A person with generalized anxiety will worry about everything. A person with separation anxiety fears of being away from the loved ones. Can you see that just the thoughts changes? The anxiety system is the same to all of the anxiety. So, in order to get the control over your anxiety, you need to practice. You need to practice coming back into the present moment. And this way you will feel more in control. It takes time. The older you are, the harder it is, the more practice you will need. But you don't have to give up. Keep going. If your child starts now to understand these things, he he will get this information easier. He will be in control of his anxiety quicker. I really, really hope this information helps you to better understand from where the anxiety is coming from and what you need to do about it. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video.